Hello YouTube, Gentleman 2005 here with a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie figures from the newest uh, the Michael Bay movie. Um, this is the four turtles and you'll notice their feet are a little blue because this is a special version <coughs> of the turtles uh, because they were on my groom's cake at my wedding and so they still have the icing on them. Um, the wife went out and bought them and uh, when the bakery made the cake they put the turtles on top and made the cake to look like the New York City skyline. So that was pretty neat. She was all in cahoots with Shuki and they took care of it. Uh, in any case, so yeah, so they're, they're still blue. That would be, that would die. But that was almost a really stupid joke. Um, so let's take a look. Now they have, they do have special movie packaging, right? Uh, that looks, the backs all look like this. It's got the the individual turtle on the top. Um, and on the back, they are literally all the same. Right, it's all just a description of the turtles. And then it shows the four turtles, it shows Splinter, it shows Megan Fox, it shows the Shredder and Foot Soldier. Um, and they all have these little plastic things, that the, or cardboard things with their names on um, they do have little pamphlets, uh, one pamphlet all about tea machines because that's like a thing now. And then this pamphlet um, is actually, and I think it might have been because of the fact that she just bought these a month ago, or two months ago. Um, these are the newest packets, and so they show all the newest figures. You can see the two beavers and Attila. This is the packet that came with the head dropping turtles. Um, so that's a that's a thing. All right, let's look at the actual uh, turtles themselves, starting with my boy Raph, whose figure I really love. Because I just love his look. Um, and this is actually how they were on the cake. Uh, Mikey had the Setsukon weapon. Well, actually, they, they screwed up, and Mikey had the bow staff, and Donnie had the Setsukon weapon, and then Shuki and I had to fix it because I was very embarrassed. Um, but here's Raph, right, you can see, um, it's not like a standard bandana, he's got, I guess almost more like a, like a, a do-rag kind of thing going on, uh, which I actually kind of like that, uh, he's got his, he does have his sides that look like this, right, like they're all wrapped up, um, his shell is, uh, a little bit different than what we normally see, right, it's, it's just all, it's a little bit worn, there's no, like, cracks or chip pieces like in the, the cartoon uh, turtle figure um, but there are all these lines and, and you know crease marks in it and everything and uh, you can see he's got these wrappings on his arms and both sides are different right they're not like the same like what we see with the cartoon um, he's got like this leather I guess leather uh, wrapping around I don't know what you call this like a little skirt um, and it's he's got one you know, one red knee band, the other one's just regular like white wrapping. Um and you get, icing is flaking off of these things like crazy. Um <laughs> I have a mess here. And he's got this this strap around him. Um there are no weapon holders on these figures, so it's pretty much they either hold their weapons or they don't. Um so that's kind of how they come. <laughs> he, he's got head articulation. His head turns a little weird. Um, I guess because of the way it's made. Uh, his arms, he's got shoulders back and forth, up and down. Twisting back up here at the elbow. Uh, no wrist. Right, so his hand's always stuck that way. Legs go back and forth and can twist around. Um, knee joint, and that's it. No foot joint. Uh, once again, icing flakes everywhere. Uh, next up is Mikey, and what you'll notice is that they did retain the whole, everyone has their own color uh, thing with these turtles, which is always a plus. Um, now, Mikey has, I guess, more of a standard type bandana on. Um, he does have uh, these chains around his neck because I guess that's what makes him cool. Um, and he's got these two uh, straps going all the way around him. I'm not sure what he straps with them, but he also has... 
like this, like a jacket, like a hoodie tied around his waist. Um, I, I guess he's like a, I don't know, he's a, a high school teenage girl. Um, but he's got pants. He is wearing pants. Um, I guess the censors got to him and said, Mikey cannot wear no pants any longer. Um, I don't know. He's wearing pants. He's got some kind of shoes, it almost looks like, with the toes taken out so that he can wear them. Um, so that's kind of neat. I do like how these are completely a different look than any turtle figures, we, you know, ever, turtle designs we've ever seen, ever. Um, so Mikey comes with this Setsukon right here, right, which is what he was holding. Um, after I fixed him on my cake, we'll put this in his hands. Um, and then he only comes with one nunchuck. Why? I don't have an answer to that. Yeah, Leo is really crusted over with, with icing, so he's not going to stand up too well. Um, so his nunchuck is just basically a smaller version of half the Setsukon. Um, but yeah, just one for some unknown reason. Uh, Leonardo, right here, right? Again, he also has more of a regular bandana. He's got like this washboard thing going on on his chest. Um, it's, that's kind of cool, I guess. He also has, like, this thing wrapped around him. Um, he almost has, like, battle armor, I guess. That's what it made to look like. Um, on his hips. And then Mikey falls over, dead, I guess. Uh, too much wrapping. He has this hole in his back for these sword holders that they didn't take out the packaging until I just took them out because I don't know. Um, they are made so that they only go in one way. Um... His legs, he does have wrappings around his feet. This is going to be fun cleaning them, by the way. I just want everyone to know that. Um, his katanas, uh, right here, he's got two of them, and they will go into the little holders on his back. Alright. Um, he's the only one that gets cool weapon holsters. Um, and all these turtles have the same articulation, so I'm not going to do, like, every turtle. Um... He's extra crusted over in the feet because he wouldn't stay standing at one point on the cake. And so we had to push him down into it to make him stand. Uh, there we go. And we'll fix Mikey before we go on to our last turtle. Because well, Mikey's a bro. Come on, Mikey. And finally is Donatello. Now, Donatello has, <clears throat> has his bandana, but he also has, like, these goggles, these special cool goggles on his head. Um, I do a lot. And he's got, like, this big old backpack, like, science-y thing. I don't know. He does stuff with it. Um, and he's got, like, this little skirt, utility belt. Um, his bow staff, the toy doesn't do it, um, but in the movie, it's, like, retractable. That's why it looks like the way it does. It's kind of spring-loaded. Which is pretty neat because it reminds me of the future Don from the Archie comics. Um, had a extendable bow staff. Of course, it also had an electrified end, but that was pretty cool. Um, he similarly has things wrapping around his leg. Um, both legs have different armor. He's got like shoulder armor, that, just like Leo does, which I just didn't mention before. Um, these wrist armors, like both of them are different, I guess, because they just kind of grab what they could out of the sewer or something. I don't know. Um, but that's pretty neat. I like that it's all asymmetrical. It gives them a unique look. Um, his bow staff, which we just talked about, um, is the only thing he comes with and no holster on the back. I guess you could slide it through the cord if you wanted to. But there's no way to put that on his back. So they're all pretty much going to hold their weapons. Uh, so yeah, I like these guys. I actually like the movie a lot. And so I like these figures. I think they're really, like I said, really nice design, really different. Um, I guess if you if you like the movie like I did, pick them up. Um, I don't recommend putting them in a cake because they don't stand too well. Um, that's probably the only time you'll ever hear anyone in a review say that because that's just a silly thing to tell someone. Like you wouldn't think, why would you need to tell someone don't put them in a cake? But um, look, they all fell over again. Um, so yeah, that's it for these. Um, I'm probably gonna go at some point pick up the other four figures and maybe a wrap in disguise if I can find one, which somehow does not appear on any promotional packaging, I guess, because they cut, I think they cut that scene out the movie or something, uh, which is wrapping a trench coat. Damn it, Leo. So if I can get him to, oh, come on, Mikey. 
See, this is what this is what cake frosting does to your figures. It keeps them from standing. Uh -huh. So yeah. So until next time, check out podcast or training channels dot com. Reading the latest Tokyo news the craziest way possible. Um, plus some awesome turtle discussions. And as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.